So, Gerard, thank you for being with us today. My pleasure. Uh, Mario Gallery seems to be so full of life and so full of uh, energy in terms of uh, the depiction of his work. Uh, as much as possible, could you elaborate on how much or how this came about in terms of Mario, his work, and how he evolved? Well, it begins uh, around 2005 when Mario asked me to publish a book on his work. Right. And then he said, no, no, I'm not good enough. And it went on like this for three years. And finally, the book came out. Hmm. And that's how it began. So what I did is to do the book, which is a huge book, this was the book. Okay. I collected about 8,000 drawings. I took these same drawings and used it in the form of merchandise. I made postcards. I, I know the work very well. I studied it for years. Of course, I mean, your, your book is research, I'm sure. You do. Yeah. So, when I was cataloging it, I cataloged each drawing in different chapters. Like, there would be a chapter on BESD bus drive. Because chapter, he, he, yeah, because he was an he, amateur. Player. Yeah, Mario was living in Bombay for 25 years, and he used to go by bus, right. thing. And then he he found the bus driver very interesting. So he draw about the bus driver, or he draw about shopkeepers or politicians and things like. That. So I categorized them all separately, and then I used them in the book. And later on, I made more books. I made a book on Bombay, where. Hmm. I divided Bombay into different chapters, you know, Lovely. and I did of the rains, of parties, of, sh of eating out, and I did the same thing for Goa, and I did other books on uh, best cartoons or travels, and even in those I kept, you know, separate chapters which I had over a period of time collected or catalogued. So it's very interesting. It's been a very interesting journey and uh, I still do it right. and uh, I started using the walls in my office for something and then it carried on getting bigger as more and more products came and then finally about three years ago I opened one in Bangchen and then I opened one in Kalangut and I opened one in Margao and I opened one in Karamona. You know, so I've covered Goa. It's, uh, are you expecting to open more in the future? Not really. They're all very personal shops. I know everybody's yeah. running them. No, we visited, yeah. your, we visited your, your shops and your staff are brilliant. I mean, they're extremely helpful and they're, they're knowledgeable about the products as well. And we, we were actually very taken up with that. Galleries, do they uh, exhibit original works or...? Uh, just this gallery, the one in Mori, yeah, has uh, exhibition of originals. Uh, 25 at a time, half a sale, 25. Okay. And the same, all those originals are also on a website. And it's also on a couple of other websites. It's on a website of Saffron Art. No, I think you're, you're in a very special place. Uh, I mean, you can see behind us that the, the whole place is lush and green. And I mean, I think that's just a sample of everything that's around us. So you've got yourself a beautiful location, and I don't see why you should not have, and definitely. I see people coming here far more than they already have. Not because of the location, but apart from Mario Gallery, everything that comes around it as well. Gerard is a fantastic gentleman, so informative, and shares that so much of his knowledge with people around him as well as us. Thank you for being with us, Gerard. My pleasure. We enjoyed your company. Thank you again. My name is Mark, and this is Iris.